Well, tonight we introduce you to a quiet, unassuming foot soldier who made history in our state, but very few people even know her name. Yeah, she's Mary Frances Early, the first African American to graduate from the University of Georgia back in 1962. Now, for whatever reason, Ms. Early's place in history had been overlooked until recently. And as part of our Black History Month celebrations, Fox Eyes Angelique Proctor has her story of courage and triumph. I grew up in a segregated Atlanta and the black water fountain or colored water fountains and couldn't go to the Fox. I was tired of the, the, the oppression. I was just tired of it. A frustrated and fed up Mary Frances Early decided she would face segregation head on and attempt to enroll in the University of Georgia. The year was 1961. She watched TV images of white students taunting and spitting on Charlene Hunter and Hamilton Holmes, the first two black students to enroll and integrate the flagship university. They suspended them from campus for their own safety. And I thought, they can't do that. They should have been able to protect those students. The 25-year-old was already enrolled in a graduate program at the University of Michigan when she took a leap of faith and applied at the University of Georgia. When they got my transcripts, they discovered that I was black. And that's when things started. Mary was a strong candidate. She was valedictorian of her Atlanta high school and her Clark College class. She was already an Atlanta public schools teacher, but none of that mattered when she arrived on the sprawling Athens campus after insisting the university meet with her. She never received an invitation to be interviewed like other students and was insulted by the registrar's first question. The first one was, have you ever been in a house of prostitution? And I mean, I was just taken aback because why would he ask that? I left there feeling rather defeated, but I was still determined that I was going to go. The university admitted Miss Early in the summer of 1961, just five months after her more famous classmates, Hunter and Holmes. Her experience was unimaginable. I went to my car to get something out of it, and they had spray painted the N-word in red paint on this white car. It had a private bathroom, so you did not go to the bathroom with the other white girls. That isolation was what got to me, because, you know, there's no one to talk with. When Miss Early became the first African American to graduate from UGA in 1962, she said no media was there. And even the university seemed to ignore her accomplishment for years until a black UGA professor actually did the research and found her. I wasn't angry with them because the people that I should have been angry with were dead and gone. But I was disappointed that, you know, my role as the third student there and the first to get a degree was completely ignored. Nobody likes to be just forgotten. She felt compelled to play an active role in the civil rights and human justice movement. Now the school celebrates Early's courage and accomplishments. Just last month, the university president graced the 81-year-old with the Presidential Medal. Her picture now hangs in the academic building, and a lecture has been started in her name. How do you feel about the University of Georgia? I love it. However it happened, for whatever reason it happened, it's not happening now. And so I have embraced the University of Georgia as my true alma mater. Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. My, how the world has changed. Mary Frances Early graduated from UGA in August of 1962 with a master's degree in music education. Now she went back to the university to get her education specialist degree in 1967. Listen to this, her composite GPA for both degrees, 4.1. Now back in 2012, the university celebrated the 50-year anniversary of her historic graduation. 